Okay, good morning everyone. So how are you today? How was your weekend? I hope everybody are doing fine. So today, we have our new lesson. But before we go to our new lesson, let us first have a review of our previous lesson. Okay, so our previous lesson was about mixture. We know that we can separate mixtures in a different ways or in many ways. And mixtures, we have three different kinds of mixtures, which are solids of different sizes, and insoluble solid in a liquid, and then soluble solid in a liquid. Meaning this can be melted, or this can be mixed with in a liquid, and this one cannot be, can't mix with the liquid. So there are so many ways to separate them. So how are we going to separate those solids that have different sizes? Of course, by picking out by hand or using, by using our hands. We need to just pick those solid materials or solid size of sizes object. And also sifting with the use of siever and with the use of or by using magnets. So these are the three ways on how to separate solids of different sizes. And for the insoluble solids, solid in a liquid, how are we going to separate them? So we can use this one pouring out the liquid or the decantation and for the and another way is filtration and precipitation. And for the soluble solid in a liquid, we can separate them by using the evaporation techniques. So these are how are we going to separate different kinds of mixtures. So before we move on, let us first have an exercises on your book. On page, page 42 of your book. Kindly get your book, please, and open on page 42, and let us answer. So let's have number one. Blank is a suitable method to separate table salts dissolved in water. What will you use? What technique or what ways are you going to use? So choose from the words above or here. And for number two, we can use blank to remove fine particles in, a dirty, in dirty water. How are you going to get or how are you going to remove fine particles in a dirty water? And number three, surgical mask as a blank to keep out dust particles. What is the use of the, of the surgical mask? You can write it here. Is it insoluble, soluble, magnet, sublimation, alum, filtration, evaporation, or filter? And number four, blank can be used to separate mixture that contains a solid substance that turns directly into gas when heated. What is that? What do you think it is? Blank can be used to separate mixture that contains a solid substance that turns directly into gas when heated. And for number five, we can use a blank to separate a mixture of silver and iron filings or iron fillings. How are you going to separate the silver and then iron fillings from each other? What method are you going to use or what ways are you going to use? Okay, so are you ready now? Is it insoluble, soluble, magnet, sublimation, alum, filtration, evaporation, or filter? So let's have number one. What do you think is the answer for number one? Okay, very good. It's evaporation. Evaporation is a suitable method to separate table, table salt dissolved in water. Okay, let's have number two. 
We can use alum to remove fine particles in a dirty water. And number three, a surgical mask act as a blank, very good filter to keep out dust particles. And for number four, blank can be used to separate mixture that contains a solid substance, substance that turns directly into gas when heated. What is it? Okay, sublimation, very good. And the last one, we can use a blank to separate a mixture of silver and iron fillings. What can we use? What can we use? Very good, a magnet. We can use a magnet to separate silver and iron fillings. So, all in all, you got five there, five over five. So, this is just a practice of our, about, to le about our lesson regarding with mixtures. I hope you won't forget those words and meanings, okay? Now, let us move on to our next lesson, which is rocks and minerals for our chapter 5 of your book. Okay, so rocks and minerals. So what do you think are the importance of rocks and minerals? Why do we need to study them? Okay, so these are different kinds of stones. Where do you think they came from? Okay, they came from rocks. Okay, these are all kinds of stones and minerals and gemstones, okay? So what is the objectives of our lesson for today? So for you to be able to describe the formation of igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks, and to give example of uses of rocks and minerals, and explain the formation of fossils, and to recognize that fossils can tell us this, the history of an environment. So these objective, objectives are for all the chapter 5. But for today, we are only going to have the different types of rocks, okay? The igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. So this is for the whole chapter, okay? So what are minerals and rocks? Minerals are solid substances found naturally on earth. They can be made up of metallic substances such as gold, iron, and copper. They can also be made up of a non-metallic substances such as silica or a rock. A rock is made of a different materials. So remember, there are this um, rocks and minerals can be metallic or non-metallic, and we rocks can is made up of different kind of materials later we will know what are those kinds of materials so where can we find rocks where do you think we can find rocks so we can find rocks everywhere there are rocks besides the road there are rocks uh, near the sea near the ocean there are rocks in the mountain there are rocks near the streets even in, an ho in our ho houses, there are a lot of rocks, okay? In the garden, also we can find many rocks in nature. Like here, look. This is the river. So rocks along a river at, this is a place here in Thailand in Chiang Mai. So this, uh, these are all rocks, different sizes of rocks that we can find along a river of, at Obluang National Park in Chiang Mai. And here, this is a place in Phuket. This is also a kind of rocks, okay? It's a, it is a rock formation. So we can find this one in Kopanga Bay. Kotapo Rock in Panga Bay of Phuket. So we know that we can find rocks in different places, okay? 
especially in nature. So what are the different types of rocks? What do you think are the different types of rocks? Hmm? Do you know what are the different types of rocks? There are different types of rocks. So let's have it one by one. But first, let us try it. Rocks also can be grounded or can be classified according to how they are formed. The groups of rocks are igneous, sedimentary, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. Some objects around us are made of or made from rocks, like this one. This floor is made from marbles, marble tiles, and marbles are made from rocks. And this one also, this is a statue made from or made of limestone. This is also made from rocks and limestone is a kind of rock. So here, there are the three groups of rocks, which is the igneous rock, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. Okay, first is the igneous rocks. How are we going to describe them? So igneous rock, are formed by magma or lava that has cooled and solidified. Magma is, a liqu is liquid rock found deep below the Earth's surface. When magma rises to the Earth's surface, it is called lava. Remember here the magma is below the surface of the Earth. When it came, when it rises to the earth's surface it is now called lava as magma or lava cools and solidifies it becomes an igneous rocks so igneous rocks are from this magma and lava that becomes solid what do you mean by solidifies solidifies means becomes solid or turn into solids okay so now Remember that igneous rocks are formed by magma or lava that has cooled and solidified or become solid. Igneous rocks form when liquid rock cools and solidifies. There are two types of igneous rock, the intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks. The intrusive rocks this one cools below the earth's surface it is very slow or slowly cools down slowly that becomes igneous rocks and this is the magma from the from below the surface of the earth so the magma is a kind of intrusive igneous rock and another one is the extrusive igneous rock or we can also call plutonic. The magma is also called plutonic. So the extrusive igneous rocks cools at the Earth's surface. This one, what are the difference of the two? This one, they cools down below the Earth's surface. This one, the extrusive kind of igneous rocks, they cools at the Earth's surface quickly. Okay, when the lava, okay, when the lava is already out from the volcano, it it is now turning to an extrusive igneous rocks, and that is the lava or the volcanic extrusive igneous rocks. Okay, let's now move on. So the longer the rock takes to cool, the larger the crystals. Remember that one. Crystals can be found in the rocks, okay? The longer the rock takes to cool down, meaning if the period of time of cooling down of rocks is longer, then the crystals that we can get from that rocks is larger, okay, compared to an ordinary crystal. And it cools slowly and large crystals. But if the 
Rock takes or cools fast, then there are small crystals. This one. And if the rock cools immediately, there were no crystals or the rocks becomes, it's like a glass rocks. Okay? This one. It's very shiny and smooth. This one, there's a lot of crystals. It cools down slow or slowly. This one, the magma or the lava cools down fast. This one, it cools immediately. So these are the difference. This is how to get crystals from the rocks. Okay, igneous rocks have different textures and surface, surfaces. Some igneous rocks, such as obsidian, have glassy surfaces. Have glassy surfaces. We use obsidian to make jewelries, like this one. This is a ring made of obsidian, and this is a kind of obsidian rock. Obsidian is an example of igneous rocks. Okay. Another example of igneous rock is pumice. Pumice has a rough surface. Look at this one. It has a rough surface. We can use pumice to remove dead skin, like what she's doing here. So some igneous rocks such as pumice are porous, meaning they are, they have holes, they are easily break or they can break down easily. And pumice can float on water because they are light. Compared to compared to obsidian, obsidian is heavier than the pumice igneous rock because this one is this one can float on water. Another type, another kind or example of igneous rocks is granite. Granite has large mineral grains on its surface. Granite is hard, which makes it a suitable building material. Look at this one. So we can use granite. This is a granite. This is usually used to make house, houses. Okay, look at this one. Because they have, they are strong kind of rock and very hard. So granite can be used to make some buildings. People in primitive area, uh, era or time, they use this kind of rocks to make their houses, okay? The graphite. And the last one, we have the basalt. Basalt has fine mineral grains on its surface. This is a kind of basalt rock, an igneous rock that is called basalt. Basalt is hard. We use it to make roads and pavements. Look at this one. Pavement made of basalt. We can use it in our garden, on the streets, or on the roads because they are a hard kind of stone or a hard kind of igneous rocks so those are four kinds of igneous rocks we have the obsidian the pumice the granite and then the basalt the obsidian this is like a crystal okay pumice these are porous and very light in weight or they can float on water and granite they can be used to build houses or buildings and the basalt can be used to make pavements or roads, make pavements or roads. Now, let's have some exercises, short exercises, a practice exercises on your book. Kindly turn your book on page 93. Please open your book on page 93. Okay, let's try this activity. We only have, I'll give you uh, four minutes to do this activity. One minute for each number. Okay, you have to match the rock on its description. 
these are the kind of rocks you just have to match it to its description here so you just connect and draw a line in here with the dots okay connect the dots okay i'll give you four minutes four minutes to finish your work Okay, I'll give you time to make your, to answer it. For four minutes, you have to finish this one. This one is a basalt, pumice, granite, and obsidian. So which igneous rock has a large mineral grains? Which igneous rocks can be used to make jewelry? And which of these igneous rocks can be used to make roads? And which of these rocks has many holes? Or what we call the porous kind of rock. Okay, are you ready? Ready to answer? Finish answering your te textbook. Page 93 of your textbook. 9-3. Okay, ready? So let's have the answer. Okay, for basalt, these igneous rocks can be used to make roads. We got it correctly. Very good. Next is pumice. Which one is which one describes pumice? Has large minerals, mineral grains, can be used to make jewelry, or has many holes. Very good. It has many holes. Granite. Which one do you think is the answer? Granite has large mineral grains. Very good. And of course, for obsidian, the last one, we have can be used to make jewelries very good okay so those are only for igneous rocks don't forget these four kinds or four examples of igneous rocks and we know that there are two types of two kinds of igneous rocks or two groups the intrinsic the intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks the extrusive is from the lava and then the intrusive is from the magma. Okay, let's have now number two. Number two is the sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are rocks that can be formed on land or underwater. Over a million of years, the wind and water deposits many layers of sediments. And by the way, what is a sediment? Sediment are material or is a material made from small rock pieces or skeletons of sea creatures. And for a long period of time, these sediments will settle down. The weight of the sediments settle down at the bottom. Sediments at the top causes the bottom sediment layers to squeeze together to form a sedimentary rock. So they will settle at the bottom of the water and they will form a sedimentary rocks. Remember, they can form on land or underwater. So this is a sedimentary rocks. Igneous rocks are from the lava and magma. Sedimentary rocks are from the, from where? From a small pieces or small pieces of rocks or from a skeleton of sea creatures from shells like that so how does it become soil or soil i mean rocks how does it become rocks the sedimentary rocks how does it form so sedimentary the sediments or the small particles from the rocks and from the sea creatures the skeletons of sea creatures they move to the bottom of the water or of the ocean so this is the land they have small particles moving there 
forming and sedimentary rocks under water. And this one, this is the sea. And there are the plants and animals that died already. And all these particles will move at the bottom of the sea or the water. And then the lower sediment layer will squeeze to become sedimentary rock. Squeeze together or they form and they form a sedimentary rock. These sediments will, will squeeze together. Another kind of, so these are examples of sedimentary rocks. So there are many layers in sedimentary rocks because th remember, they are squeezing and layering the different kinds of particles. So that is why they have different layers. These layers are called rock strata. We, also, we can also find fossils in sedimentary rocks. Fossils are made form when dead plants and animals are trapped between the layers of the sediments. Like this one. These are shells that fossilized already because they are squeezed together and in a sedimentary rocks. So fossil, this is now called fossil in a sedimentary rocks. So fossils can be used to investigate the history of an object. Where is it came from? How does it live? What are the, but what are the parts, physiology and anatomy of an organism or an animal? So sedimentary rocks are made of different sizes of particles because remember they are being squeezed together from different kinds of sediments from small pieces of rocks and skeletons of skeletons of sea creatures okay let's move on now so here is an example of a sedimentary rock which is the shale is formed from fine grains of rocks. These are formed from fine grains of rocks. We can use shale to make bricks and pottery, this one. We can also crush shale into small pieces and use them to make cement. We use cement in construction, construction of houses or building or roads. So we can use this kind of sedimentary rocks. A black shale contains a substance that can be used to make fuels. Okay? The black shales. This one is a bucket of cement that came from this one. So remember, when you want to make a cement, you can just get this kind of sedimentary rocks. Now let's have a sandstone, another example of sedimentary rocks. The first one is shale, this one is sandstones. The sandstone is formed from large grains of rocks. Some structures in nature are made of, made of sandstone, like this one. This is a sandstone structure in Arcs National Park in the USA. So these are, this is a rock formation, a sandstone. This is a kind of sedimentary rock that is being layered, okay? Squeezed together and it has a layer, look. It has different layers. So this is how sedimentary rocks are formed. And this is a sandstone kind of sedimentary rock that we can found in USA. This is also a kind of sandstone. Okay? When you when you pound them or when you touch them you can you can get a small dust particles that look like a sand. A sand. Okay? Are you still there? Okay, now let's move on. 
Another kind of sedimentary rock is a limestone. The first one is shales, the second one is the sandstone, and the third one is the limestone. Limestone can have fine grains or large grains. Grains are the particles of the rocks, okay? These are the small particles in, of the rocks or in the rocks. It can form when layers of rock pieces and shells of sea creatures are squeezed together. Limestones can also form when calcium carbonate in a water in the water precipitates. So we can crush limestones and mix it with other substances to make cement. You can also use this for construction. Not only the the shale, this one is can we can we can use for cement and also this one, okay, the limestones. We can also mix this. We can crush them down, crush them and mix them, mix it with mix it and mix it with other substances to make cement for construction okay and this is an, this is a kind of limestone a statue made of limestone the phoenix in the here is the pyramid and this is the phoenix okay so this is made of limestone and remember, limestone is a kind of sedimentary rocks which has layers. Look, they have layers. So, those are the three kinds of, three examples of sedimentary rocks. Remember, sedimentary rocks can be formed in water or on land, okay? So, let's have an exercise about sedimentary rocks. On page 97 of your textbook, kindly open your textbook on page 97, your science textbook, science inside out textbook on page 97. Okay, get your textbook please. So let's have these exercises, identify the sedimentary rock. What kind of sedimentary rock is this? This rock can be formed by precipitation. Of calcium carbonate in water. What is this kind of sedimentary rock? Is it shale? Is it sandstone? Or is it a limestone? I'll give you two minutes to answer this one. And number two, this rock is made of fine rock particles and can be used to make pottery. Pottery making, okay? What kind of rocks are this? So two minutes to answer, I'll give you two minutes. Finish. Okay, let's have the answer for number one and two. Okay, the rock, the can form, be formed by precipitation and of calcium carbonate is called limestone. And the rock that is made of fine particles, rock particles, and can be used to make pottery is called shale. Okay, so those are already the two types of rocks. We still have one more. Remember the igneous, the sedimentary and the last one is the metamorphic rocks so what is this kind of rocks the metamorphic rocks metamorphic rocks is a rock or rocks that are found from igneous rock and sedimentary rocks that have undergone high heat or great pressure there are two types of metamorphic rock the foliated and non-foliated. Some metamorphic rocks have bands. This pattern is called foliation. Nice and sized schist are foliated metamorphic rocks. So nice and sized schist 
have bands of light and dark crystals they have crystals in there in this kind of rocks and this in their particles okay is this the nice so these are examples of metamorphic rocks so metamorphic rocks are rocks that are changed due to extreme heat or pressure what is heat heat from the sun the hotness of the, the temperature of the environment and also the pressure and metamorphic rock do not melt they just recrystallize okay forming another crystals they don't melt unlike in the sedimentary rocks you can crush them and make them cement or pot or pottery but used for pottery making okay these metamorphic rocks becomes harder more dense banded or foliated and distorted distorted okay another kind another example of metamorphic rock is a slate a slate is a foliated metamorphic rock formed from shale from shale okay shale is a kind of sedimentary rocks so slate is from shale remember the metamorphic rock is from the igneous and from the sedimentary rocks that becomes harder okay that hardens so it is harder and more durable than shale this one the slate more harder it's harder and more durable and also slate has an even texture that does not allow water to seep through what, what what can slate be used for we can use tiles for slate okay for your floor non-foliated metamorphic rocks do not have layers of light and dark crystals marble is a non-foliated metamorphic rock so slate and slate and the slate this one is a met foliated metamorphic rock and the non-foliated metamorphic rock is the marble okay so we have here this is a marble a marble is a metamorphic rock rock formed from limestone it is harder and has a smoother surface than limestone yes they have smoother smoother surface than limestone have you seen a marble this one can be used to make tiles in our houses okay we can use them for our houses for other buildings roads of course and for stage statue okay this one is a statue we can use marbles to make a statue okay remember marbles is a kind of metamorphic rock so what are the three types three examples of metamorphic rock we have the we have the slate and a two i mean two two kinds slate and marble the foliated and non-foliated metamorphic rocks so for the summary for the summary we know that rocks is it rocks can be made of they are made of minerals they different kinds of minerals and there are three types of rocks which are igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks so these are the three types of rocks and these rocks has their own example they have examples or kinds different kinds so the igneous rocks example of this is 
the pomice, the granite, the obsidian, and then the bas the basalt. And for the sedimentary rock, we have the shale, sandstone, and limestone. And for the metamorphic rock, we have the gneiss, schist, slate, and marbles. So these are the kinds of metamorphic rock. So the three types of rocks has their own kind, okay? The shale becomes slate. So metamorphic rock is from sedimentary and igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are from the mount are from the volcano, which is the lava and the magma. The magma is an intrusive kind of igneous rocks and the lava is an extrusive kind of igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks are formed from sediments that mix together with the particles of stones that settle down can be formed on land or in water so let's have some exercises okay Let's have exercises on your book. This one is on page page 100, okay, 100 of your textbook. So we will just have to write, just tick or check those that are true. So read the statement, statements below and tick those, tick or check those or those that are true. Number one, I'll read it for you, okay? You answer there in your book. I'll give you three minutes to finish. Only sedimentary rocks can form metamorphic rocks. Is it true? If it's true, you just put check. If it's not, don't put anything. Number two, Slate is a metamorphic rock form formed from shale. Is the slate metamorphic rock formed from shale? Is it true or not? True, you check. Not true, don't write anything. And number three, for the marble. Number three, marble is a harder rock than limestone. Is marble a harder rock than limestone? Is it true or false? Okay, finish. Okay, let's have your answers. Or so let's have answer for these exercises, for this practice exercise. For our practice exercise, let us have the answer now. Are you ready? Okay, so what makes wrong for number one? It became wrong because of the word only. Because remember, metamorphic rock is from igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks. A combination of sedimentary and igneous rocks that is heat and, and with pressure, okay? And for the slate, slate is a metamorphic rock formed from shale that's correct. And for marble... And for number three, marble is a harder rock than limestone. That is also correct. Okay, so that's it for today, for our presentation or for our lesson. The different types of rocks. Remember those types of rocks. And for next meeting, we will have to discuss on how these rocks are being formed. How do they form? So for your homework or for your other exercises, I will just post there in our school bright, okay? Kindly check your school bright and do your homeworks there. You just have to take a photo of your workbook, okay? So it's almost time. I'll see you again next meeting. Thank you and goodbye and have a nice day and take care and see you soon. Goodbye and thank you.